Hey YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another video from me. Today's video is going to be a DIY that is inspired by this piece from Pottery Barn. And I really liked it, but it was $159 and I decided to make my own version. And if you want to see how I achieved that, just keep on watching. So what you're going to need is a set of embroidery hoops and I got these at Hobby Lobby. So I have like, they come in a set of um, two, so that was two for $1.99 for the 12 inch hoops. And then I got these um, eight inch hoops for $1.49 and that was again two per. So it's $1.49 for two. Next I'm going to be using six inch hoops and they're $1.19 for two and I got four of those. So. I have two sets of those and then two sets of the smallest ones which were four inches and they were 99 cents for two. So you can see this is super budget friendly, super affordable. Next I'm using these plaques that I got from the from Walmart actually and I believe they were 98 cents per plaque and I hauled them a little while back and I thought I had four of these but I only had three so I'm only going to use three. I'm going to be using a paper towel roll that I'm going to cut into these quarter inch strips and I already pre-cut them just for the sake of the length of this video and I'm also going to be using these little Dollar Tree round circle mirrors and for my glue I'm using this all-purpose platinum bond 7800 glue so I need some scissors and then you also need a pencil or something to make a marking now these embroidery hoops come with these fasteners that you could easily pop off and then fill it in with some wood glue and you know create steps for yourself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tighten them up and I'm going to leave these fasteners on and I'm tightening them so that my structure is going to be secure and that eliminates about three steps. That way I don't have to fill it in with wood glue and glue it all together and that way I still have a secure piece. So what I'm going to do, since I'm going to be adding the plaques onto this, I'm just going to put the fasteners in, in a cluster while they'll be hidden by the plaques that I add on. So the next thing I did was just kind of to come up with a design. I just kind of scattered them around in a way that was pleasing to me. Um, abstract, not keeping the same sizes too close to each other and kind of like a random pattern. Next I'm going to be using the plaques and as you can see the plaques will sit exactly where the fasteners are. So you won't even see those at all so you don't even need to bother taking them off. So I'm using three plaques. I do have more hoops left over because I thought I had four plaques um, but I can always add that on later. So this is what it looks like with um, my design just kind of like mapping out my plan. And then next is going to be arranging the strips of the paper towel roll that I cut up to create like a a flower pattern I guess just to give it some interest and not have it just be the circles and just make it like more interesting and have more detail to it. So once I do that I just kind of decided where I was going to put them and I'm going to add the mirror on top of it. But that's going to be the very last step that I do because once I place everything and glue everything on I'm going to be spray painting the piece and then adding the mirrors later. But eventually this is what it's going to look like. So now it's time to add the glue. So what I did was I made some markings where the hoops were touching each other and then I added the platinum bond. Now it's just like E6000, it takes a while to dry but in order to make sure that it stayed in place, I put some hot glue on either side of that little daub of um, platinum bond. So I just, um, allow the hot glue to dry so that way it would keep it in place for me and that way I could save myself some time because I don't have time to sit there and hold this thing until it dries. And if you don't, because they're not exactly the same um, thickness, you'll see that it'll be uneven. So you will do want to use that hot glue to keep it so that the E6000 can dry up. So you can see right there, that's what I did. I just marked it and then added the glue. I added the hot glue off camera. For some reason I wasn't in the shot, I didn't even realize. So once all my pieces were glued together, now it was time to make my markings for where I was going to put the petals. 
I'll call them the paddles. And they're pretty much the little strips of the paper towel roll. And then once I had my markings done, I started gluing them on. I just glued the rim of the petals and um, added them on. Kind of like the way you would add things to a clock, like at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then I would put some in between. And also, the way I spaced this out for these particular measurements, I made sure that the strips were about halfway in so I had halfway half um, halfway the space sticking out and halfway the space sticking in and that was the best spacing that I could come up with where the mirror would still have enough of a surface to adhere to without um, having the petals not stick out enough if that makes any sense so this is what the final product looks like once I put it all the petals on and I've also glued the plaques onto it. So you see the hot glue is holding it all together and I'm able to take it, pick it up and go spray paint it. And this is what the final product looks like. I am extremely happy with this result. Um, I also added little gems to it just to kind of give it like more interest and more detail. And I'm really, really happy. If you're going to be using a spray paint for this, I strongly suggest you use a primer before you spray paint it, so that way you don't see the grain of the wood. And that's it, you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.